We human beings have been venturing into space since October 4, 1957, when the USSR launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth. This happened during the period of political hostility between the Soviet Union and the United States known as the Cold War. For several years, the two superpowers had been competing to develop missiles, called Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBMs, to carry nuclear weapons between continents. The space race brought pioneering launches of artificial satellites, robotic space probes to the Moon, Venus, and Mars, and human spaceflight in low Earth orbit and ultimately to the Moon. Beyond this, the two superpowers were planning to send their people to Mars. Yes, but it's gonna take some time from now. But why the Mars? Let's find out. The planet Mars has been explored remotely by spacecraft. Probes sent from Earth, beginning in the late 20th century, have yielded a large increase in knowledge about the Martian system, focused primarily on understanding its geology and habitability potential. Mars has long been the subject of human interest. Early telescopic observations revealed color changes on the surface, that were attributed to seasonal vegetation, and apparent linear features were ascribed to intelligent design. Further telescopic observations found two moons, Phobos and Deimos, polar ice caps and the feature now known as Olympus Mons, the solar system's tallest mountain. The discoveries piqued further interest in the study and exploration of the Red Planet. Mars is a rocky planet, like Earth, that formed around the same time, yet with only half the diameter of Earth, and a far thinner atmosphere. It has a cold and desert-like surface. Besides this, there are also some probing difficulties involved in Mars. The challenge, complexity and length of Mars missions have led to many mission failures. The high failure rate of missions attempting to explore Mars is informally called the, Mars Curse, or, Martian Curse. In 1988, two Soviet probes were sent to Mars as part of the Phobos program. Phobos-1 operated normally until an expected communications session on 2 September 1988 failed to occur. The problem was traced to a software error, which deactivated Phobos-1's attitude thrusters, causing the spacecraft's solar arrays to no longer point at the sun, depleting Phobos-1's batteries. Phobos-2 operated normally throughout its crews gathering data on the sun, interplanetary medium, Mars, and Phobos. Just a few years later, in 1992, Mars Observer launched by NASA, failed as it approached Mars. Mars 96, an orbiter launched on November 16, 1996, by Russia failed, when the planned second burn of the Block D2 fourth stage did not occur. Following the success of Global Surveyor and Pathfinder, another spate of failures occurred in 1998 and 1999, with the Japanese Nozomi Orbiter and NASA's Mars Climate Orbiter, Mars Polar Lander, and Deep Space Tube Penetrators all suffering various fatal errors. The Mars Climate Orbiter was noted for mixing up U.S. customary units with metric units, causing the orbiter to burn up while entering Mars' atmosphere. The European Space Agency has also attempted to land two probes on the Martian surface, Beagle 2, a British-built lander that failed to deploy its solar arrays properly after touchdown in December 2003, and Schiaparelli, which was flown along the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. Contact with the Schiaparelli EDM lander was lost 50 seconds before touchdown. It was later confirmed that the lander struck the surface at a high velocity, possibly exploding. Engineering interplanetary journeys is complicated and the exploration of Mars has experienced a high failure rate, especially the early attempts. Roughly 60% of all spacecraft destined for Mars failed before completing their missions and some failed before their observations could begin. Some missions have met with unexpected success, such as the twin Mars exploration rovers, Spirit and Opportunity which operated for years beyond their specification. As of May 2021, there are three operational rovers on the surface of Mars, the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, both operated by the United States of America space agency NASA, as well as the Jurong rover, part of the Tianwen-1 mission by the China National Space Administration CNSA. Besides this, there are eight orbiters surveying the planet, Mars Odyssey, Mars Express, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Mars Orbiter Mission, Mangalyan, Maven, the Trace Gas Orbiter, the Hope Mars Mission, and the Tianwen-1 Orbiter, which have contributed massive amounts of information about Mars. In all, there are 13 probes currently surveying Mars including the Ingenuity Helicopter, which is scouting sites for Perseverance to study. Also, the future plans to Mars include 
the joint ExoMars program of Roscosmos and ESA, which will carry the Rosalind Franklin rover, but, on 17 March 2022, ESA suspended the mission due to the ongoing invasion of Ukraine by Russia. After the successful mission of Mangalyan, India is working towards Mangalyan 2, which is India's second interplanetary mission planned to launch on 2024 by the Indian Space Research Organization. The planet Mars has been ultimately explored for the past few decades for its atmospheric composition and other things which are similar to Earth. Which means that this planet could be the aim for many of the space agencies. It's the Mars race. And who will be crowned at the end? Let's wait and find out. Hope you got something new from this video, if you are interested in astronomy, then you may consider subscribing our channel. And, if you enjoyed this video like our video and share this video to your friends.